there, I'm Hannah and this is my top three gaming news stories for this week. Yeah. Uh, number one! The fifth and final chapter of Don't Nod Entertainment's episodic game Life is Strange has finally been announced. It's going to be out on the 20th of October, available on PS4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS3 and PC, so there's no reason not to get this game. Now, if you haven't already played Life is Strange, it's basically set in one week, and it's an episodic game following Max Caulfield, who is a photography student at New School. This game has some seriously great cliffhangers, not to mention lots of Twin Peaks references. So if you haven't already played it, you still have time for 20th of October to be able to catch up. Number Two. More news and screenshots have been announced of upcoming horror game Alice and Road. This game has been described by its creator as a homage to the now cancelled Silent Hill game and its teaser PT. Early footage showed a house setting similar to PT, but new screenshots reveal players will be taken out into an open, creepy ass forest or marshland area, which allows for a different type of horror to take place. Project leader Chris Kessler said Alison Road isn't about excessive gore or jump scare horror. It's more the type of horror that leaves you deeply unsettled, but equally, you just want to continue to find out what exactly is going on. It's also been announced that you'll be able to play it on PC with or without Oculus Rift. Oculus Rift with this game will be terrifying, so you need to go check it out. Number three. Last but not least, Sony's game streaming service PlayStation Now has finally launched in the UK. PlayStation 4 owners can get themselves a monthly membership for £13. This will gain them access to hundreds of games to be able to stream directly to their PS4. If memberships aren't your thing, you can also uh, rent the games for a few pounds, just depending on how long you want them for. Once again, I've been Hannah. Thank you for watching. <laughs>